welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Tuesday, December the 5th of 2023, and I'm coming at you guys with Vlogmas day number six. So starting out this vlog out here doing a little bit of side hustling. Actually, this is not a little bit. This is quite a bit, but um, this is amazing. I got a Walmart Spark for 44 something dollars. That is not even like, that's not a tip. There is no tip. This is just the guaranteed pay from Walmart for a mile and a half. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm really excited. Just one drop off. Now, it's a pretty big order. Going to be real. There's a lot of stuff these people want. Um, but I looked over the list, and the heaviest things are two 24 packs of pops. So, not the worst. Definitely not the worst. So, I'm going to make this happen. I'm really excited. Going to head in here to Walmart and just take you guys along. So, uh, let's do this awesome order. All right, so heading into Walmart to get this done. Started out in the produce with a bag of onions, a bag of potatoes, a head of lettuce, as well as some Roma tomatoes that wanted 0.6 pounds. Perfect, 0.6 pounds. Got some bacon, hot dogs. Also got some lunch meat. Then we got some sliced cheese, some shredded cheese, some margarine, as well as some stick margarine. Then they wanted two 18 count eggs. I checked to make sure they were not cracked. Good to go there. Two different kinds of biscuits, a gallon of milk, two different coffee creamers. Now this one that I had to get was shoved way in the back, but I had to get down on the floor to get it, but I got it. We got cookies and crackers here, and then we got three different varieties of chips. I guess we only got two of them on camera. These are kind of hard to find because things are like shoved in the back. So I had to like reach down on the floor and get them. Two 24 packs of pop. Two different kinds of cereal and pancake syrup. Here's where things started getting hard because they were out of things. So I had to do substitutions. I got some Pop-Tarts there. Got some cans of pineapple. Got some mac and cheese. Got some Sloppy Joe sauce here. Got some green beans. Got some carrots. Got some corn. I had to substitute that because I didn't have the small cans in that aisle. Got some elbow noodles. Got two different kinds of pasta sauce. Got some fettuccine. Got some Alfredo sauce. Got some tomato soup. Got some potatoes. Got some more potatoes, got some broth. They were out of a bunch of broth, so I had to do some substitutions. Got three different 12 packs of ramen. Got some tortillas, had to substitute those. Also got several different hamburger helpers and several of the north sides. Had to do substitutions on those north sides because we didn't have all of those. Got hamburger and hot dog buns and canned tomatoes. Got several different snacks, honey buns, nutty bars, zebra cakes, some Swiss rolls, zebra cake rolls, and some Neapolitan ice cream. Oh my gosh, this was a lot of stuff at this point. Two garlic Texas toasts, banquet brown and serve sausages, a big thing of pizza rolls, some chicken nuggets, some crinkle cut fries, and some hash browns. That was the order. So I shopped it and then I had to go up to the self-checkout. Basically, if you guys aren't familiar with Spark, you go up to the self-checkout and you bag everything and then you scan the like QR code like you would for Walmart pay. So I got the order done. I had to put things in the trunk, in the back seat, as well as I kept the eggs, the bread, and the milk up front with me. Here's when it was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? This was like a duplex, and I had to go up these like steep stairs four times. I was so out of breath once it was over. But you know what? I survived. I got my workout in, I survived, and they gave me an extra $3 cash tip. So it brought it to over $44, which was great. I caught another Walmart Spark order after that. It was for $11, only a few items. Again, one of those orders that was like a little over a mile. I was actually heading in the direction I needed to be anyway, so it was perfect. So this person wanted some sausage, a few different varieties of cheese. Also, she wanted some crackers, so I picked those up. Two different kinds of crackers. She must be having like a cheese and crackers tray or whatever. Some orange juice. Also, some like first aid ointments and these wet ones wipes, and they were like, that was it. That was literally it. It was so easy. Would have been even easier, except I went out the wrong door. I parked on the grocery side, and I went out the home side. Gotta love when you do that. But anyways, I got to this apartment complex to deliver it. So I had to like figure out how to put the code in to get in the building. So I was finally able to do that. And then I went in and it was an elevator. I don't know about you guys. I hate going in elevators. I always worry they're going to like break down like every time I get in one, but they didn't. So got the order done. I actually got 1188 for that one. So that was a really, really nice order. So all in all, for a little under two hours of work, I made $55.90 including the cash tip. Didn't even drive five miles. Not gonna say it was easy money, especially that first order was a lot of work, but overall I am really, really pleased with this today. So awesome time doing Spark. 
So for dinner tonight, we kept it super simple, but really, really good. So kind of had a healthier version of like fast food, like KFC or Raising Cane's. So this was awesome though. So we had the Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Strip. We got these at Sam's Club, but Kroger did used to sell these in the past, so you could check there. We really love these Alexia House Cut Fries. They're really, really good. I just had a can of cream corn from Kroger Mega a few weeks ago. So we air fried everything, put that chicken in the air fryer, then we got some french fries and put those in the air fryer, sprayed that with some olive oil cooking spray. And this next thing I'm telling you, if you've never done this, go to the store right now and buy this Cavender's Greek seasoning and put it on your french fries. I know I have said this like half a dozen times now, but oh my gosh, you'll never want your french fries the same again. These are seasoned so good. That seasoning is amazing. So we air fried those. The fries did get done before the chicken. Um, so we took those out and they were nice and crispy and just perfect. Uh, this Walden Farm sauce I really like. It's the chicken dipping sauce by Walden Farms. It has no calories in it, um, no carbs. So if you're on keto, perfect. But it also doesn't have any like wonky ingredients like high fructose corn syrup. And honestly, it tastes really good. Like it tastes like a fast food like dipping sauce. It's really good. By the way, this is not sponsored. I just truly love how easy this meal was and how good it tasted. Like it was really, really good and a lot healthier than getting like fast food chicken. So awesome. All right, guys. This is a couple of hours later and I went through and got my list together for a tradition that I've been doing for the last couple of years and it actually is a Disney Plus Christmas episode watch list. So basically what I started doing is going through and like re-watching episodes from stuff I watched you know growing up or whatever that's on Disney Plus and like going through and re-watching the Christmas episodes. So it's something that I just started doing like every year and I really have enjoyed it. So I went through and made a list. I mean there's obviously more than this but there's just some shows on Disney like I didn't watch or you know some that were past my time or some that I just don't really care to see again. But I went through and made a list of the ones that I do want to watch. And I actually do have this as a Google Doc. If anybody out there either is like nostalgic with these shows like I am. Maybe you grew up watching them. Maybe your kids did or something. Or maybe you want to watch some shows with your kids. This might be an option for you with this list of Disney Plus Christmas episodes. But um, yeah, I got several good ones on here. Just shows that I watched growing up. And I'm really excited to go through and do a watch list for 2023. So Got one thing checked off here from something I've watched so far this season. So got a lot more to watch, but it's going to be great. So um, yeah, that is my fun tradition. Didn't even realize it was going to become a tradition. I just like tried to do it one year. And then after that, I was just like, I want to keep doing this. This is a lot of fun. So it is now a tradition for me. All right, guys, it is later now. And I'm going to chat with you all for a few minutes as we wrap up this vlog. Kind of just like going over the day a little bit and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed the montage of events that I filmed. I didn't actually start vlogging until 3 o'clock. Just like a busy morning slash afternoon getting things done. Target video, got that filmed for you guys. It's an awesome week at Target, so check that out for sure. Also, today was like my bill pay day, budget day or whatever. So I went through and paid my bills that needed to be paid for the week. And then also we had a Sam's Club pickup. Then that Walmart Spark came in for 41 something dollars. 41 something dollars for 1.4 miles and like guys I couldn't even believe that order that came through that was amazing like 1.4 miles from the Walmart for 41 something dollars and so yeah I was so excited I watch a lot of people on YouTube who actually do this kind of work where they'll like take you along do ride-alongs with DoorDash and Instacart and um, Spark and so I see people get those kind of orders, but I'm not usually one to get one of those. So when I got that, I was like, yes. And the thing I was really excited about is that was not dependent on a tip. That was just the pay from Walmart, which was crazy because something that kind of makes me leery on Instacart is something called tip baiting. And that is where people actually can take back their tip. So they will say, you're going to get this kind of tip. And then you go and do the order and then they take it away or significantly reduce it. And that actually happened to me um, on Instacart a couple of weeks ago. And really, I've never been like the same with Instacart again because Instacart really doesn't pay that great. It's very tip dependent. So I don't take a lot of orders with Instacart now, which is what I love about Spark is that so many of their orders are just great pay anyway from Walmart paying us that it's not tip dependent. The tips are just a little extra, you know? So I've really been loving Spark. So when I saw that come in, I was like, oh yeah, I am totally doing that. So went to Walmart and did it. Took me under an hour to shop for all that. And that included me like filming, putting the things in my cart. So not bad at all. 
And then it took about 10 to 15 minutes to bag everything. Went to the car and loaded it up. That took a little bit because there was just a lot of stuff and I had to like divvy it up between all the different sections in my car, the trunk, the back seat, the front seat. And then the really hard part with that order was going up all the stairs. That really was tough. That was the hard part of that. Um, the in-store shopping got a little tough because it got busy and they were out of stuff so I had to do substitutions, but we got through that. The stairs, that was the hardest part was those stairs. Oh my goodness, I made four trips up and down those stairs and I was, I was feeling, I was huffing and puffing so bad. Like, I'm out of shape, but I did it and it was a good workout, you know? That was a good workout, honestly, going up and down those stairs with heavy groceries. And then they ended up handing me that $3 cash, so I mean, that order was great, but it was definitely a great order and yeah, I was super thankful for that today and that's just gonna be thrown towards that car loan and working to chip at that and get that thing paid off. So that was amazing. And then that other little quick order, that's what I'm used to seeing like 11 something dollars for a few items. That's what I'm used to seeing, which, hey, I'll take those too. Like those are easy to shop and 11 something dollars for a little over a mile. I'll, I'll Yeah, I'll take that as well. Um, That's more what I'm used to seeing on Spark. So when I saw the 40 something dollar order, that blew me away. That was insane. So yeah, but guys, what a day. So come back tomorrow, Vlogmas Day 7. We'll be doing this again. And yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching.